Hey y'all, I'm here. I'm gonna try to get this set up right. For some reason, YouTube Live does not have the same screen as doing a video, just a regular video on my camera. Alrighty. Now getting up on my tablet so I can see any comments? Oops, sorry. Okay. Chair time. Okay. <laughs> All righty. So this is um, what's left of my secret not secret kit. I think this is from May. Pretty sure. This kit is based on the Simple Stories I Am, and I don't have any 12 by 12 papers left. All I have is some scraps. I have a few, not very many, but a few 6 by 8 papers from the paper pad. But I want to concentrate on using up some of these scraps. And I have a few ephemera pieces. Not sure if I'll use all of those from this kit because it is very <sighs> shocking. I am. It's focused on yourself and they don't really necessarily fit the uh, theme of this photo in per perfectly. So I'm going to make up, try to use up the bulk of these. Okay. So I've got lots of little paper strips. I've got just, just lots of scraps. So we're going to use up some of these on our layout today. Probably not all of them, but we'll, we'll make a good dent in that. I have this beautiful gold leaf trim that came with my kit. I think this may be like a crepe paper brand trim. Maybe Maggie Holmes flourish-ish. <laughs> Something like that. So that I'm going to try to incorporate as well. It's just have this little piece left. So we're gonna to try to use that up as well. I also have some stickers still. I've dug into them a little bit. And, uh, but yeah, I wanna, I wanna get them used. Got some of these and some of these. Now this one I've dipped in too heavily, <laughs> but those butterflies are still sitting there, which kind of surprises me, because this is probably the last full layout that I'll do with this kit. I want to have a couple of butterflies from Jen Hadfield were in the kit as well. So I may try to use some of those. Let me put them down so you can see them better. They they're, they're, they're really nice. They're very dimensional. You can kind of fluff them up a little bit. Oh, it's falling off. So we may try to use a couple of those as well. This photo here is of my boys, Alex and Joseph. And they're just sitting at my grandma's organ in her house. And I thought it would be really cool to do a, a little layout about this. Now my grandma lives in Michigan and we don't see her very often, but uh, when we do, the kids love to, she has a piano and an organ, and they love to sit at the piano and the organ and pretend to play. So I thought that'd be fun. I do have uh, a little six by six pad here from the DIY shop that has some note music type paper, and I think 
we're going to try to bring in a piece of that as well. Just because music, piano, just seems like they go together, right? So I'm going to add that to our little pile of stuff and let's get started. Hey, Pink Glitter Scrapper. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> Glad you could join me. So I've got, this is a piece of old paper. It's very pretty, but it, I'm not likely to use it. So this is a very old piece of paper and I'm just gonna use it for the white side. And it's going to be, oh, I kinda like that on an angle. It's gonna be the, the base here, but I'm also gonna use this piece of cardstock, which is a darker tone of the blues, teals of the paper. So it's a slightly darker tone, and I'm going to use this as a border around the outside, something like, well, this is on an angle, let's do the whole thing on an angle. Something, something like that, I think. And then just uh, the photo near the center, maybe just off center or something. And uh, yeah, so let's get started. I think I'm gonna start by cutting down my white paper so that it's the right size. And here we go. And I'll just cut off about, let's do three quarters of an inch on each side. That way I don't have to cut all four sides. This little Teresa, what is it, Teresa Collins Fiskers trimmer? I think that's what it's called, yes. It's new to me. <laughs> it was on clearance at the craft store and I thought, yes, clearance things, yes. So it's, it's pretty fabulous. My other Fiskers trimmer for some reason the little little cutter thing keeps falling off. Every time I put it down next to my desk, it's gone. <laughs> oh, that is super frustrating. Every time I'd go to pick it up, the little cutter thingy is long gone. <laughs> so on these large pe this large piece of paper, I do use my trimmer, but quite often with everything else, I just use my beautiful scissors. Aren't they pretty? I rather like them. So let's pop this in here. Like I'm thinking, I'm thinking we're gonna work on an angle today. I think that's kind of a cool idea. Yeah, let's do it. No time for thinking, or I will overthink things. I'd rather not. So we're just gonna throw some tape on here and get it down. Oh, uh, Lisa, you switched to Creative Memories. You know, I've heard good things about that one. I just happened to come upon the Teresa Collins one in, I think it was in Hobby Lobby or something, and it was like 50% off. So I was like, all right, well, let's try this one instead. <laughs> and it doesn't have that issue. I've not had that problem at all with the new one. So lucky there. If it starts acting up, though, I will definitely be looking for a non Fiskars trimmer. <laughs> Let's do something like that. That'll do. All right. Let's move this stuff out of the way. It's interesting, going on to YouTube Live is different. Yes, Clarence is always good. Going on to YouTube Live is a little bit different um, view than going, than when I actually record my videos. <laughs> So I have to kind of adjust my screen, my space here to match the screen and make it easy to see. Okay, so now we're on an angle and I think we're also gonna be on an angle with this as well. What papers do I wanna use? I definitely wanna use this, this note, musical note paper. Well, that's weird. My photo is not a four by six. Uh, this must, must have been one of those situations where, uh, what is it, the, uh, there's a piece of white paper, is it big enough? Yep, sure is. 
one of those situations where they modified my photo to, what is it, 4 by 5.3 or something like that to make it better quality. Yeah. I, I'm never quite sure if I like that or not. <laughs> I guess if the whole photo's there, it doesn't really matter. But it is kind of frustrating if you try to do it in your project life and you're expecting the photo to be 4 by 6 and it's not. <laughs> All right. I do like to give my photo a little white frame here. I, mean, I could print it that way. <laughs> Probably should, but I don't know. I just kind of like the layers. I like the extra layers on the layout. All right. So let's get rid of this branding strip piece. And think, thinking, I don't want this to be the direct mat underneath. Maybe, maybe that blue. My boys have blue shirts on, but it's not quite the same color of blue. I do like that. Let's see, what else we've got in this pile of scraps? We've got this one. Well, it's a little bit closer, I think. Now in this case, I don't have a whole piece to put onto my photo. So I have a couple of options there. I can just put this on this way and then just cut off extras and align it on this side. Or I can just do a regular matting. And uh, that works too. So I think what I'm going to do is if I mat it like this, then I can cut it off. So I had some paper stuck to the back. <laughs> you do have to work your adhesive around the edges when you mat like this though. take advantage of this edge because it's very small. Go ahead and use that. Okay. That way I have more paper on this side that I can play with. Like I was saying uh, at the beginning, this is definitely going to be the last full layout I do with this kit. Not that I don't think I could get another layout out of it. I'm just kind of tired of working with it. <laughs> I have a short attention span when it comes to crafting. <laughs> so I, I won't last forever with the same kit. I probably should get mini kits from Christina. She probably could do that for me. But then I really want all the things. So <laughs> if I get a mini kit, I can't get all the things. Oh goodness. I think I'm afraid that if I did that, that I would just go buy the rest of the collection <laughs> instead of uh, just sticking to the kit. The kit's supposed to be helping me not buy everything. So That's probably best just to go that way. I'm just going to piece this behind. I don't worry about perfection, guys. Not a not a fan of perfection. I kind of feel like that's one of those things where you just kind of set yourself up for frustration <laughs> if you're trying to be perfect. So I, I go for good enough, or as my husband says, you know, good enough for government work or something along that line. I don't know if that's actually applicable, but that's what he says. So we'll put this one down 
here. I'm gonna try to line it up. And stick it down. That's right, Lisa. It is overrated, but you know, we put a lot of pressure on ourselves sometimes to, to try to do it the way other people do it. And think, oh, look how cool their layout looks. <laughs> I should make mine look like theirs. I do that sometimes. But really, I mean, first of all, you're not that person, so you're not going to scrap the same way. Second of all, in trying to attain something that uh, you think you like, you may discover you don't like it as much as you thought. <laughs> we need some kind of larger background piece here. Ooh, I don't know if I want to do, do I want to do black. You know, it's the cream that's throwing me off. This, uh, I don't want to do floral. Um, <laughs> this collection was a bit of an enigma. <laughs> Because all of the ephemera is white based, but the papers are cream based. And that makes it a little bit frustrating for me to use. But so far, I think I've done all right with it. Okay, what else? What else? We've got a little strip of yellow here. We could potentially do that. Some more yellow. I think I really liked that yellow paper. Let's see. Mm -hmm. This piece is pretty. And if I put it on the corners like that, you can't really tell it's floral. Let's just put it in the corner like this. Those sides just in the corner. That looks kind of cool. I've buried my tape. <laughs> so, what are y'all doing today? Is everybody on lunch? Hanging out at the house? Out running errands? I had to run some errands earlier today. Had to uh, take one of my kids to the doctor why our little scrap and chat is about an hour later than last week because it happens right life life happens especially when you have children yes wrench in the plans <laughs> to put it mildly she's fine by the way she just has a sore throat and is sleeping at the moment I think probably Excited to have a little extra rest, actually. It's funny how much sleep kids need but then don't get. <laughs> let's see. I don't want to do this. Let's, let's go this way. Because I want some of that, that text paper to kind of show through. Oh my goodness! Yes, Lisa. Oh my gosh, trying to keep up with uh, collaborations. I'm trying to set up for Scrap Timber. <laughs> and I'm trying to plan out a few things because I have a collaboration with, um, with Becky and one with Christina. I'm super excited about them, but I'm also stressing just a little because, you know, you gotta come up with some original ideas <laughs> for those layouts. <laughs> so I'll put that one there, and then I'll just pop this one this way so we get a little bit more of that black is how the piano has black keys and all. So that looks kind of cool. We'll put it on a slant. 
Oh, that just needs a little bit more tape. Yes, the back of my photos often look like a hodgepodge of things. <laughs> it's a good thing they're stuck down to the uh, background, right? Oh my goodness! Go you, Lisa! Every single day. I'm doing that in September. I haven't had a layout. I won't have a layout every day. Some of the video, but I'll have a video every day. And I'm really excited about that. I have lots of really cool ideas for the videos. Let's see. Do we want to bring in some more yellow? Hmm, maybe. Maybe, maybe. But if I do that, I feel like I would have to do a lot of paper piecing to make that work. Let's see how this is. I don't want to outgrow my paper here. Maybe do it like this. of an angle do I want? And do I want this to be angled or the photo to be angled? Ooh, decisions. I don't want to make it so angled that you have to turn your head <laughs> to look at the photo properly. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to do that. So let's let's maybe keep the paper with the photo. Yeah, let's do this. I like it. You know, I went for a while where I had videos almost every day, and after a while, it kind of wore me out. <laughs> And I started stressing myself a little bit. Oh, I don't have anything to go up today. I need to quick make something and put it up today. I thought, you know what? That's just silly. I shouldn't stress myself out about it. I know that's not what you're doing, Lisa. You were you had pre-planned some stuff, had things prepared. But that's what I was doing to myself. And I thought, you know what? That's just silly. Oh yeah, I bet they do gives you something to focus on and inspires you, right? I do love collaborations for that reason. It it helps to, to give you a little mojo boost. Now, <laughs> this beautiful little musical piece, I might tuck back under here because I like that music bit and at the bottom here all we're getting is the space between the notes. So I'm just gonna tuck that in there like that and no one will ever know. I'll just trim off this uh, blank bit at the bottom. There. I think we're looking pretty good. Now, is this big enough to hold its own or does it need yet another layer? <laughs> if I do another layer, I feel like maybe I should pull from the paper pad and get a full six by eight piece. Now, I love this floral. But I feel like maybe, maybe too much floral for two boys. What else have we got? Butterflies. This paper is really cool. I wish it didn't have the pot of flowers on it. Let's see. We've got a black stripe. That could be interesting. The thing about this paper pad <laughs> is the papers don't want to stay in it. 
which has made using it rather frustrating. And you go to flip the pages and all the papers just come out. So let's see. That's kind of cool. So we could go for the black. But I do think we're losing our, our background blue that way. <laughs> what do we think? I do like this paper, but I don't know that the photo covers up enough of the florals. Um, I don't know, that seems like too much that cream. Was the back of it. Oh boy, is that busy, isn't it? That's, <laughs> that, my friends, is a busy paper. And again, it's a lot of that cream. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll just go for the, the black. today. Kind of like that. What do we think? Any thoughts? I don't think I have enough of this blue. Oh, well, maybe. This looks different. That's weird. Same pattern. They're actually different colors. That's what happens with you when you work with scraps, right? <laughs> so, if I want this to look like a solid piece, I'll have to cut out behind the photo. Sorry if you can hear my dog drinking. She's uh, rather loud with it at the moment. Let's see, do I have any more of this blue paper? That's a negative Ghost Rider. Hmm. It's on the back of us. Oh, this was part of the cut apart. I see. Mm -hmm. What will be the easiest way to do this? Yeah, I think I want to use this, but I need to cut out behind it there we go. that was a rough sketch I'll just uh, erase that crazy line <laughs> The other day my daughter said she wanted to delete something that she had written and I think I laughed for a good <laughs> uh, Pencils don't quite work that way. No delete button on the pencil, but an eraser will do the job. just gonna pretend we're gonna fake it till we make it that there's a large piece here. Ha ha. I do want to pop this up on foam. Do I want to do it above this? Ooh, that might be cool. Let's do that. Anybody have exciting weekend plans coming up? We have two birthday parties to go to, so that should be exciting. On the same day, <laughs> one for lunch, one for dinner, should be fun. I'm sure the kids will have a blast. I'm gonna leave a little space, that's good. 
Anybody going to get to scrap this weekend? I'm hoping to sneak in at some point, maybe in the evening. Because <laughs> I do have some projects I want to do. Oh, Angela, I'm sorry to hear that. Good luck with the challenge, though. I think challenges are awesome to try to get you motivated, get started, give you a little inspiration. I hope your fibro stops acting up. That can be such a pain. And I bet it's frustrating, too. Not every once in a while my back acts up and I just can't sit in this chair. And that is super frustrating. <laughs> It'd be nice if this foam had double-sided adhesive, but uh, such is life, right? Go. Feeling tape. Such an exciting part of scrapbooking, right? I know a lot of people love those ATG guns, but I also hear so many people <laughs> upset with them, so I just decided I don't need that. Plus, knowing me, I would be fighting with it constantly. Okay. So, we're kind of missing... Where's the paper? There we are. Just tape you down for the moment. major made you look sick. I thought it was just uh, pain. Oh, yeah. New Creation Studio. That This, how big it is. I think, you wouldn't lose it on your desk, which I've heard a lot of people say, I never lose it on my desk like I lose my scissors <laughs> or my tape roller, which I constantly lose mine on my desk because I'm a bit messy when I scrapbook. But it's just so big, I just feel like I, I have pretty limited space on my desk already. I've gone a bit short here. How do I want to fix that? I'll do this. I mean, it's already pretty paper pieced. What's well, a little more paper piecing? Yeah, here. <laughs> My desk space is better now that I've redone my craft room and I have a nice sized desk, but it's still full of stuff. <laughs> At the moment, my desk is quite packed, which seems silly, but eh, I use a lot of things when I scrapbook and I find that I'm more likely to use my stuff if it's out and accessible than if it's put away. If I put it all away, then I'm not going to use it. Yeah, you're right. I've heard the adhesive is very good, but my double-sided tape does really well. It, it does. It's a little tedious to pull off all the tape, but I'm not usually in a hurry. <laughs> Oh yeah, an all around you type of desk. I think mine feels kind of like that because I have my Rascog on the one side, my little cart full of my punches and thickers. So it kind of feels like it's all around me. <laughs> all right, so how much of an angle do I want on this? Maybe just try to follow the line of the paper, I think would do the job. Let's add more tape. You can never, no, oops, that was loud. You can never have too much tape. Okay, you might could have a little too much tape, but 
I do use a lot of adhesive though, even though I'm using double-sided tape, which is brilliant and does a great job. I don't trust it. I don't trust any adhesive. You using, oh, an Elmer's runner? Is that what you were, Elmer's runner? Yeah, I have one. Where is it? It's buried under, <laughs> under all the things on my desk. Uh, I use it mostly for, here it is, tiny things like this. Is this what yours looks like, Angela? Oh, yeah. Inky Quill. I agree with her completely. I've just, I've looked through some of my old albums where I just used the little squares, you know, those little squares of double-sided tape, and all of that stuff has fallen off, and any, then I started using Tape Runner, and all of that is falling off. <laughs> and the only layouts that have stayed intact are the ones where I used, used tons of this. And so that's why I just keep using it. Uh, I have a friend who uses uh, glue. And while it works, her stuff does not come apart. It also kind of warps the paper a little bit. So I guess you kind of have to choose your battles, don't you? All right, don't you start sticking before I'm ready, Tate. I think a little jaunty angle here would be nice, but... Should it be in the corner? Kind of feeling this corner right here. Mm, done. That's where you live now. You're done. That's where you are. So now we have to start embellishing. I'm scared now. I've heard some people have had no issues with their uh, double sided, what's it called? Tape runner. And it just, you know, the people who do just a little <laughs> zhup, 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 and that's all they put on it, I'm like, that's going to fall off. <laughs> uh, but I have seen others who will do, you know, quite a bit of tape runner, and I think that'll probably stick. That'll probably stay. Let's see. I've got some embellishments here. Yeah. Well, even when I use this guy, oh, the art glitter glue, I'll have to look for that. I've been using glossy accents in my fine line bottle. Oh, and the tonic pen. I kind of love this thing. It does a good job, but it does work paper. This thing does pretty good for small, small things like little die cuts and stuff, but I do still use a lot on the die cuts. So I have all of these things. Don't want to use green. <laughs> Don't know. This one has uh, splattering on it because I'm a crazy splatterer. You know, I had Scotch quick dry in the fine liner bottle. Yeah. It, it dried up. <laughs> I just got distracted in what I was going to say. It dried up really quickly for me. It turned into mud, essentially, like clay inside of my fine liner bottle, and I had to wash it out. I'm putting a little clear sticker on here. It says, I am dreaming big in that window spot. That was nice. <laughs> <laughs> Those clear stickers are okay and they look kind of cool, but I always forget to use them. So here we go, have some stuff on here. I've used most of the things that I really liked. <laughs> that little bird probably won't get used. The bike definitely won't get used. <laughs> ah, it's just the way it is. I love that they have these little tabs on here, though some of them are upside down. Um, let's put, let's put, 
this guy just because he's the right color. Like, I don't even really mind what he has to say. Just, he's the right color. So there he goes tomorrow. Even though we're talking about uh, a couple of years ago. <laughs> they don't all have to make sense, right? If all of our embellishments had to make sense, boy, a whole lot of these embellishments would never get used. Um, Scotch Quick Dry does warp a little, but not too bad. I don't think the tonic, it, it's about the same as the tonic glue. It just comes in a, this is just a better bottle. It has a pretty, mine's quite used, but it has a pretty thin tip side to it. So I find this much easier to use. I only use the glossy accents if it's something really heavy, like metal or a really thick wood veneer, I'd probably, or flare, I'd probably trust the glossy accents a little bit more than, uh, than the tonic glue. Not to say it wouldn't work, I just trust it. What, what do I want to do here? We could use this cute little house. It doesn't make much sense, but we could use it. <laughs> I want to use some of these green butterflies for sure. I mean, it was at Grandma's house, but I always have like that putting random embellishments on my layout. <laughs> it always makes me like, eh, did I use it right? <laughs> I don't want it to look too boxy. Let's do our title first. You know what? Let's do our title first. Glitter on a shoe? Huh. I would think that that would look very cool. What am I doing? I want to find some titles. Okay, titles. We're gonna we're gonna do a little stamping. I have my L Studio title builders, and then this one is a really super inexpensive Kelly Create stamp with this gorgeous scripty font that I'm just loving. <laughs> Flamingos. I have trouble with birds. I do, I have difficulty using birds on my layouts. I don't know why. Butterflies, no problem. Birds, I don't know. I just don't know. Let's do these are pretty well used. <laughs> um, we've got smile, we've got wonderful together. What is my title going to be? Could be like hello grandma or hello piano, except it's an organ. <laughs> Let's see. We could do all about the and then put music and thickers all about the music or do favorite favorite oh that's sweet I don't, I'm not really a big fan of birds. They make me a tad nervous ever since one flew in my house. We could treasure happy moments. That might be kind of cool. Or just, so 
something simple like smile today. the hardest part for me is picking a title. How about something like favorite moment or do I have moment? I think I do. Favorite moments. That'll work. <laughs> you, did you get a tattoo, Lisa, of a of a hummingbird? I don't mind pictures of birds. I just, I find them hard to use in my layouts. I think that'll work. Favorite moments. Okay. Let's find a little block here. Mm, maybe I'll layer them. Kind of like that. Oh, that's a great choice. That's that's a beautiful sentiment for your mom. I've thought about doing something like that uh, in remembrance of my dad, but I'm I don't think I could sit there long enough for a tattoo, honestly. Not at all against tattoos. I just don't think I could sit there. <laughs> tattoo me. <laughs> I'm a sissy. I've got five kids. I have been stabbed with more needles than I ever imagined possible. But the idea of getting a tattoo, yeah, that's, that's not one I want to try. I just don't think I could sit there while they just kept getting me. My husband says it's not that bad, but voluntarily getting stabbed. It just sounds like a not not a good time to me. You know? That's, that just seems like not a good time. Do it here or over there. Let's just let's let's do it right here. Think of a cat scratch. Oh you've already got one so you know. At least you know what to expect. I think that maybe that's part of it is I don't entirely know what it would feel like. <laughs> Not really. And so I'm just running on what my imagination <laughs> expects. <laughs> and my imagination is uh, pretty fanciful. Cat scratch. That's probably accurate, actually. I don't have a cat. My husband doesn't doesn't prefer cats. He is very much a dog person. But I grew up with cats, so I do know what that's like. <laughs> I just don't know if I could sit there and let them, you know, because you that takes hours, doesn't it, Lisa? Doesn't it take a couple of hours or something like that? I don't know if I could sit still that long. I get pretty antsy. we go. Favorite moments. I like that. I put this away before I stick my arm in it like I did last time. 45 minutes. Oh, that's not too bad. 45 minutes isn't too bad. I just, I hear those horror stories of people who are sitting there for hours getting tattoos and I just think, I don't think I could do that. <laughs> I don't think I could do that. Mm -hmm. 
So I've got this. Okay, so the stamps. This one with the scripty font that I didn't use is from Kelly Creates and it's super inexpensive and I just got it in a uh, scrapbook and cards today kit and I really like it. Uh, it's a little bit smaller. This one, these two are from L Studio and they are called Title Builders and they're pretty awesome. As you can see I've used them heavily. <laughs> The darker ones are the ones I've used several times. And I've only had this about a month or maybe two. So it's it's a favorite, that's for sure. <laughs> oh yes, my husband has a, a big tattoo on his back. It's the only one he has, but it's a, it's a rather large tattoo on his back and he told me that it took several hours for them to do and it's just black and white it doesn't even have um, color on it and it still it took uh, quite a while for it to uh, to be to be done I'm losing my words sorry I'm trying to think I think that might be too a little too big for this spot I love these little Jen Hadfield butterflies because they can open or close or however you want, however dimensional you want them to be. That's kind of cool. They're acetate, by the way, if you're not sure. So put that in the corner. I do want to put some journaling on here and I think I might do maybe here or here some journaling. I mean, I could do, I've done before where I've written all the way around the outside, which I could do that too. That might be neat. Got that guy. I keep wanting to go pick it up. No, <laughs> it needs to stay there, Laura. Okay, so we've got our little gold trim here, and I'm thinking maybe just popping it right here at the bottom. I did that on another layout, and I really thought that that looked kind of cool. It's a nice little, or maybe up near the photo. Maybe here. Hmm, that looks a bit busy. I'm thinking. I'm thinking maybe leaving it here. Or I could just like go totally crazy <laughs> and just tuck it in at the very bottom for no apparent reason other than it looks kind of cool. Well, you can't see. Let me move it up a little bit so you can see. That looks really neat, but it does run off the page. <laughs> Maybe I'll do like this crazy line that just runs across the layout on that same angle. There is so much stuff on my desk right now. Nah, that does look a little, a little too wild. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Yes. No. Hmm. What do we think? On the middle of nowhere or the bottom of the photo? Remove this stuff. I have so many, you guys, if you could see the part you can't see at the moment on my desk, it, it would blow your mind. There's so much junk on here. Oh my goodness. See, in my videos you see that side. <laughs> Not all of this. <laughs> Need to watch how much junk I just chuck over there. Uh, let's see, what else, what else should go over here? While I'm thinking about that vine, something else. Maybe this little notebookery thing. That just seems so random, but it might be okay if I tuck it under like that. I'll just let you sort of chill right there for the moment. And we've got, these books are really cute. Maybe I could either cut off the flowers or 
play over there, stickers. I can either tuck it under or cut off the flowers. I don't want too many flowers <laughs> on this layout. Ugh, so much stuff. I'm going to cut off the little flower pot. Put that back on the sticker sheet for now. I think I'd like to tuck that here. Can bring this down here and tuck it. Maybe on a little another little jaunty angle the other direction. That's kind of neat. I have no idea where this layout's going, if you're wondering. Not a clue. Not a clue. I just just going going with it. have that sentiment on here. Living with purpose. That sounds exciting. Living with purpose. Favorite Bible verses. Yeah, you know what? I would be worried, worried that, you know, the script, especially writing, would take longer. I don't know if it would or not. Than an image? I'm not sure. So I'm going to pop off that little floral bit, and maybe I'm going to, I think I might tuck it up here, sort of under behind this little butterfly guy. There we go. Not that you can really see it, but it got used. Oh, I've got a little wood veneer music note. Maybe he could live here. Or here. <laughs> yeah, we'll leave him there and see if he uh, gets to stay. All right, shouldn't have too much left. Just need to decide on this trim. Yeah, the smaller tattoos. Well, see, I've even told myself, well, I could just go get a little butterfly. <laughs> I love butterflies. If I could just go get a little butterfly, that wouldn't that wouldn't be so bad. And it'll probably never happen. <laughs> oh goodness. Yeah, I think I think if I bring it up a little closer to the photo here, that I kind of like that. Should I just stick to the white? Maybe I'll just stick to the white part. And then, my little trick for making that straight is this 1 8 inch double sided tape. Or straight ish, anyway. I'll just bring that across the area I want my ribbon to go. And I'll just put my ribbon on the tape. Yeah, when um, my dad, when his whole life, or most of his life, without a tattoo, and I think he kind of always wanted to get one, and then when he hit, oh, was it 50? Might have been 50, something like that. Maybe it was 55, I'm not sure. Somewhere in that range, he had gone to Florida on a trip and came back with a large lion tattoo, lion's face, I believe, on his shoulder. <laughs> oh, hey, Melody, we're still chatting. <laughs> we're not done. <laughs> and you, it'll save to YouTube so you can catch up on the gossip later. 
<laughs> we're discussing tattoos and um, adhesive. <laughs> And anything else that jumps into our, our little minds here. So here's what we have. Isn't that wild? Isn't that wild? It just... <laughs> oh, goodness. He, he just got this giant lion on his shoulder and he, he told me, you know, it was just something I think he always wanted to do and just... He married my mom really young, and she's not really a fan of tattoos. <laughs> so he just went and did it. <laughs> Didn't tell her. <laughs> just did it. Uh, it makes me laugh because that's me. I have ADHD, and I just impulsive just do it. <laughs> hey, Becky. Welcome to the party. So it just, it makes me laugh because that is absolutely something that I would do. Just go out and get a tattoo at random without telling anybody, except I won't because I'm a chicken. But <laughs> I think this wood veneer needs to be a different color. So I'm gonna glue him down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on the wild side here, guys. And I'm gonna glue him down before I paint it or nouveau it or whatever I'm going to do to make it gold. That has gone horribly wrong in the past. I'm gonna do it anyway. Hey, Angela. Um, uh, hey, Scrap Amazing. How are you? That's Eileen, right? I think. I'm decent with names, not, not great, but <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> oh yeah, well, it was kind of meaningful to him to get the lion our church, their uh, seal is a lion and a lamb, and I think he wanted to kind of be symbolic of uh, his membership in the church and him being a uh, priesthood member in the church, but also too just his personality. You know, there's there's people who are restful and quiet sometimes, like lions during the day, and then who have their more adventurous side, like lions during the night. Woo, okay, knew this was gonna happen. It was stopped up, I kept squeezing, and now we have Nouveau everywhere. It's only because I'm on live, guys. This would never happen on video. <laughs> I am fabulous at the moment, just, you know, cleaning up a giant mess of Nouveau. This would not have happened had I done it on my mat first. Yes, right? Well, glue would probably be a little easier to clean up than Nouveau. It's uh, kind of everywhere at the moment. So this guy's gonna come off so I can clean the residual mess. I'm just gonna stick my hand right in it. Luckily, the ink of my title is dry, but it's okay because we're going to splatter with Heidi Swap Color Shine anyway, so <laughs> it's, there'll be gold everywhere. There we go. Now we're going to do it the smart way over here on the little mixed media mat, you know, that's intended for this purpose. And... <laughs> You gotta laugh, right? I kind of was asking for it, let's be real. There. <laughs> oh, you, yeah, I think that a lot of people, they, they do really think about their tattoos, and I think my dad, uh, was very thoughtful in his. He just, when he decided it was time to get it, he just went and got it. Okay, so I have now gotten a baby wipe to clean up my glorious mess of Nouveau.
I want four open hearts shaped into a flower. Oh, that's lovely, Becky. That sounds beautiful. I'm too much of a chicken. <laughs> I brought five kids into this world and been stabbed with countless needles. I am too much of a chicken to go get a tattoo. Maybe, maybe when I'm a little bit older and don't, don't mind it as much. We'll see. I won't say it'll never happen, but, uh, you know, I had, uh, a friend who got one just recently and she's in her fifties, I think. So I won't say it'll never happen. Yeah, let's just not make that worse. <laughs> Nuvo explosion. You know what's crazy? I've actually never had that happen before. <laughs> so of course it's gonna happen live on camera, right? That's just, of course. So I'm just gonna keep this fairly simple. I'm gonna add some little hearts around, I think, and like enamel dots maybe, and then the Heidi Swap color shine, and this little guy when he dries, and some journaling. I think my journaling will probably come live over here. Yeah. <laughs> a blue tiger, that sounds awesome. Oh, you're gonna get it on your hand. You know, I hadn't really thought about that. I haven't really thought of that. Oh my goodness. Really? My dad was number three in his family of five kids. And he was the second to pass away. He uh, got esophageal cancer is what, what got him, unfortunately. That's a pretty, pretty rough type of cancer to be battling, honestly, it really is. So it's, it's hard. Still miss him all the time. But I'm getting to a point where I can tell stories and not cry, so we're, we're getting there. <laughs> he, he would probably think I'm silly for crying every time I talk about him, so. He was a pretty awesome guy. Little hearts, little hearts everywhere. Chickens, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, all of the chickens, please stand up. Yep, that's me right here. Giant chicken, I admit it. Oh my goodness. Y'all are cracking me up. Absolutely a chicken. I <laughs> ah, it doesn't go up there. Let's see, anything else that wants to jump on the page? Speak now or forever hold your peace. Maybe, maybe we can squeeze that other butterfly. <laughs> because all the butterflies on all the things. What do we, maybe, maybe, come here. That might be really cute. But if I put him, say, like up here, then I could do a little trail. You know, with Nuvo, the thing that just exploded all over me. <laughs> I think I'm going to pop it right there. And I'm going to give old Nuvo a second shot on camera. But this time, we're going we're gonna to try him over here first. There he is. He's behaving now. Oh, goodness. Bed rest is tough. With my twins, I was on bed rest for a little while. Not, not terribly long, luckily, but they were they were pretty large. I was I was kind of on non-mandatory bed rest. <laughs> I was on I can't move bed rest because I couldn't actually move. There we go. Little butterfly trail. 
Thank you for behaving, pale gold blue bow. Yeah, now where am I gonna put my journaling though? Uh, <laughs> oh, planning, planning things, not for me. Okay, my phone's gonna yell at me. And this isn't quite dry. He's gonna live up there, and I'm just gonna splatter <laughs> all over that. Just, just a, just to cover up my giant mistake. What does Adele say? You can always cover it up, right? Or you know, just leave it <laughs> if you don't want to cover it up. Oh goodness. Thank you, Lisa. I really like it. I think it came out pretty good for not having any kind of a plan. <laughs> and just going for it, right? That's sometimes you just gotta go for it. So yeah, I think before my phone tries to kick me off, I will let y'all go and uh, I'm hoping to make this a regular thing every Friday around lunchtime. And uh, yeah. Oh, hey, Brenda and Copy Crafter. Welcome, welcome. I'm about to jump off, but this video will save so you can watch it back later. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. And when I get my journaling, I think I'm going to do my journaling around the edges here. And so when that's done, I'll post it to Instagram and you'll see it in the layout flip that I've got coming up of this kit. So thanks for joining me, guys. Bye.